How the animals will be travelling there? Let's play a game and find out. Let's join the dots together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a rocket! Chickpea and her friends will be travelling to space in a rocket. Look, the crew are preparing to launch the rocket. Yes, we are all ready, Lennon. Uh, remember to count backwards, everybody. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! Look at all the stars in the sky. And look, there's a constellation. Can you see it too? A constellation is a patch of stars that look like a picture. Let's connect the stars to see what's there. It's a cat. Can you see another constellation? Yes. There it is. Let's connect the stars again and see what's there. It's an umbrella. Well done, everybody. Today's adventure is so much fun. Story time. Today's story is called Moon Bunnies. It was night time and Chickpea and Lennon were looking out of their bedroom window at the silver moon and sparkling stars. What is the moon? asked Lennon. I don't know, replied Chickpea. Maybe it's the face of a giant spaceman. Scoff, Treetle, Jangle, Chirp and Stomp joined their friends. I think it's a giant round sweet bun with sugary icing, barked Scoff excitedly before licking his lips. Or a big banana. Woofed Treetle. It isn't always round. Suddenly, Lennon had a brilliant idea. Let's get in our rocket, fly to space, and visit the moon. The crew quickly pulled on their helmets and boarded the big rocket excitedly. Lennon sat in the captain's seat. He pushed a red button and the engine fired up. The rocket blasted into space, swirling past all sorts of planets. Suddenly, they saw the moon. There it is, cried Treetle. Lennon steered the rocket carefully and landed on the moon. The crew jumped out one by one and were surprised to find that they bounced back up again. It's just like a giant bouncy castle, laughed Jangle. Chickpea and friends had great fun jumping up and down on the moon, but they soon became tired. 
<laughs> I'm starving, complained Scoff. They were about to go home when Jangle noticed that the bumpy surface of the moon had lots of holes in it. And she found an entrance to an enormous tunnel. They followed the tunnel until they reached a big silver door. The door opened and standing in the doorway was a big green bunny rabbit with a rainbow-coloured fluffy tail. Hello, I'm Martin the Moon Bunny. Come in, tea's ready, he said. Martin's house looked just like Chickpea's house with a sofa and pictures on the wall and there were four other green bunnies there too. Everyone enjoyed delicious, fizzy, rainbow-coloured milkshakes and a wibbly-wobbly cake. We watch your world from our bedroom window every night, Martin said. You'll have to come and visit, Scoff told Martin. You can try biscuits. Soon it was time for Chickpea and her friends to get back into their rocket and go home. And the moon bunnies waved goodbye as their new friends whizzed back to Chickpea's world. <laughs> Look everyone, Scoff and Chickpea are floating in space. They're exploring and can see all sorts of things. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures of them exploring? Look carefully. Have you seen it yet? You're right! There's a moon in this picture, but not in this one. Well done, everyone, for spotting the difference. We've had fun exploring space today. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and friends next time. Would you like to travel up to space today with me? High up in the sky, we'll float and fly. I promise there's so much to see. Yeah. Would you like to travel up to space today with me? High up in the sky, we'll float and fly. I promise there's so much more to see. And the rocket is ready It's nearly time to count to lift off Let's go! Three, two, one Let's fly up high to space now, ready